It turns out that anything that has the word happiness in the title does really well at the festival. And that says something about what we all want, doesn't it? I mean, you can only go so far by, by feeling bad about populism. But by the time I get done, in the next 45 to 50 minutes, your money cheerfully refunded if you're not a happier person and don't have a strategy to become happier as you move through your life. Now, I've just made a promise that I can't keep because I don't run the Aspen Ideas Festival. However, um, I want to share some ideas with you that, quite frankly, have changed my life. Four years ago, I was celebrating my 50th birthday. It adds up to 54 at this point, obviously. <laughs> and when I was celebrating my 50th birthday, I have to say, life was pretty sweet. Where are we? We're we on the title slide at this point? Okay. Life was pretty sweet. I mean, I'm, I'm the president of the American Enterprise Institute. I'm traveling around. It's a good organization. I felt like my career was going well. At the time, I actually had a book on the bestseller list, which is a great feeling. It's a great feeling. And I was doing what I ordinarily do, which is sit on an airplane one night. I was coming back from the West Coast, from LA to Washington. It was a night flight. And I had an experience that disturbed me a lot and that led me to do the research I'm going to tell you about today. See, what happened was, it was very dark, because it was night, and you know, people were, watching, were asleep or watching the movie, and, and, and I was working on my laptop, and I heard a couple behind me, in the row behind me, having a conversation. It was an older couple, I could tell by their voices. I couldn't quite make out his words, but, but I could make out her words very clearly. I wasn't trying to eavesdrop, but I couldn't help but overhear. And I heard mumble, mumble, mumble from the husband, I assumed it was the husband, and the wife answers, Oh, don't say it's true. Don't say it. It's not true that you have nothing to add anymore. Oh. And then I heard mumble, 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 mumble. And then she said, don't say it would be better if you weren't even alive. It's really disturbing. And I started to get into my head kind of a, a picture of who this guy is. It must be somebody who is underappreciated and forced to retire. Well, maybe a ninth grade teacher or somebody who's given a gold watch and, you know, something. And, and I, I was kind of looking forward to just getting a look at him. And the lights went on. We landed at Dulles Airport in Washington, and everybody stood up. And I turned around, and it was one of the most famous men in America, somebody you all know, a hero, somebody for whom he has, has gotten justifiable fame for events of daring and accomplishment in the 1960s and the 1970s, a household name. Now, this is very disturbing for me, and I'm walking up the aisle, and he and his wife are walking up behind me, and we get to the door of the airplane where the pilots always standing saying, thanks for flying United, folks. You know how they always talk like Chuck Yeager? <laughs> and, um, and, he, and he's saying this, and he, he recognizes the guy behind me, and he says, sir, I want you to know that you've been my hero since I was a little boy. And I turned around, and he was beaming. And I thought, which is the real hero? This guy or the guy 20 minutes ago? Hmm. And I thought to myself, things are going great for me right now, and I've been thinking about all the good things that are going to happen to me. What can I do so it doesn't wind up like that? Now, I'm no hero on the plane. I'm not famous like this. But what can I do so that when I'm that age, it'll be different? And I'm going to tell you what I found, because I think I cracked the code. Now, not all of you are 50 or above. Some of you are below that, but God willing, you will be <laughs> at some point. And I hope you remember some of these things, because truly, these are some of the life-changing things that I have learned. I'm gonna